nothing changes. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is, um, it's gonna be, uh, what I eat in a day, and then I'm also gonna do an update because I'm officially halfway through my semester, so for me that means that now I've started new classes, so I'm gonna kinda chat about that a little bit too, and that'll more than likely happen in my car on my way to class. So for breakfast, I usually do oatmeal or um eggs and turkey bacon i like alternate between those two um today i did or yesterday i did eggs and turkey bacon so today we're having oatmeal my bowl out um and then i use almond milk with my oatmeal because it makes it creamier and then i add more calories also i just bought this Put it in the microwave for two minutes. Now I gotta make my coffee. Really? We got coffee going. We got a kitten that wants some attention. Hey, come drink here. And the oatmeal's ready. I'm gonna leave it in there for a minute. Now, also with breakfast, I usually have like an apple and some peanut butter or strawberries. Depends on the day. A lot of things depend on the day. Um, I use one of these because I can't bite into an apple. Sometimes because I have like a bottom retainer and I don't know if anyone else has that struggle, but. Got this. Really just stick this in here. Grab a, that's a lot. Grab a scoop and pop it in. What? <laughs> All right, so I'm actually I'm also gonna show you what I have packed for lunch because because I eat lunch at school and I don't really want to film my lunch while I'm at school. So for lunch we have broccoli, cauliflower, salmon, and some sweet potatoes. And then I'm also gonna grab a granola bar. For after class, um, when before I go work out, we got breakfast, apples and peanut butter, oatmeal, coffee. I'm going to eat it and then I'm gonna She likes to play and play for her is us chasing her. So anyway, I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then I will probably vlog in my car. All right, guys, I'm in my car now. We are driving to class. I got my coffee to go. Let's chat. All right, guys, so on November 11th, I am officially halfway done, six months until graduation, which is absolutely insane. Um, I just finished three of my classes, so this week, yesterday, today's Tuesday. Um, yesterday I started two new classes and then last weekend I started my new clinical rotation. So my classes now are, I have one about like mental health basically and then I have another one that's community health and then there's also some um, maternal child stuff in the community health class as well. And then I have my new clinical location, which is at a different hospital than I've had my first two. So that's interesting to get used to. Um, I definitely think that I prefer the other hospital more, but that could also just be like 
because I'm used to it. I ended up doing really well in both of my classes this past semester. So I hope one of my classes, I was like 0.5 away from an A. So that kind of for me is just like, I gotta work just a little bit, a little bit harder in my next classes to hopefully get both A's, which would be awesome. Um, right now I am currently applying um, for a nurse residency program um, at the hospital next to where I go to nursing school. So there's like three big hospitals in Madison, which is where I go to school. Um, so UW Health has a nurse residency program. So basically with that, you work with another nurse for, you have like an orientation period anywhere from like four months to eight months, depending on your unit and you get paid like a normal nurse, but you are not on your own. It's a really great transition. Um, it's a really great transition opportunity. And I feel especially for me because I learned everything in like 12 months that having that extra time learning more um, and not just being thrown out there would be really beneficial for me um so yeah i'm working on that application right now on thursday i get to do some job shadowing in um labor and delivery which i am so pumped for like i literally am so excited so i'll probably update you and let you know how that went and yeah Everything's really good. I'm really excited for these new classes. I'm really excited for the mental health class. Um, we already had it yesterday, so it was really interesting. And I'm also excited for mainly the um, maternal child part of the community health because I'm not super interested in community health, although like all nurses basically have to do some sort of community health. So yeah, everything's good. I'm struggling a little bit with like only having one day off a week and now my schedule has changed also slightly so last the last eight weeks um, I was supposed to have both my classes on Monday but um, we ended up doing like online class on Mondays in the afternoon so I was done at like 12 30 but now I have both my classes on Monday, so I'm done at four. And Mondays used to be my day for grocery shopping and meal prepping and working out. And now I have to do all that on Sunday, and Sunday is like my one day off, so it's kind of frustrating, but it's fine. We'll make it work. We have to, we don't have any other options. So yeah, I'm gonna finish my drive, and I will probably see you on my drive home or after the gym. All right, guys, so it is now 542. I just got done with the workout. It is pouring rain out. Um, I saw my foot doctor. So like I broke my foot like six years ago and I've had like issues with it since then. But I saw my foot doctor at the gym and he was wearing like a bright orange hat like a cut off tank top and really short shorts and I was so shook like wow uh, it was weird I don't think he recognized me because it's been a while since I've seen him but it was really creepy so yeah I'm on my way home now I'm going to have a, like probably half of a protein shake and then I'm gonna make dinner tonight we got the protein shake Alex doesn't get home for another hour. Also, before I forget, vote. I know in Wisconsin, voting is November 6th. I'm not sure about other states, but vote. It's so important. Exercise your human right to vote. Um, you could probably just Google where to vote or when is my election. Yeah. Change of plans for dinner. We're having this pasta stuff and this. And garlic bread, which I just asked Alex to get out of the oven and he didn't. I was gonna put the cat in. 
do not. We couldn't eat you. We couldn't even cook you. Yeah, we gotta fat you up a so, little yeah, bit. So yeah, garlic bread. Do you know you got whole wheat garlic bread? Aww. <laughs> I thought you were just trying to be nice to me. All right, guys. So that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you next week. Thanks. Bye.